Good morning. Another beautiful day in the neighborhood up here on the creek. Up in the mountains, our favorite spot. Today I'm going to be working on the shed roof and I am loving it. But first I got to take a little walk. I want to look again at this little uh, gazebo that got sucked into the river. That was a store-bought uh, metal gazebo, probably 12 feet in diameter and about eight foot tall. And that big root ball belongs to a 60 foot river birch that came floating out of the bank when the water was really high from excessive rain. It flooded and it just wrapped that thing up like a pretzel. So hopefully I'll be able to clean that thing up when the water warms up, get in there and uh, maybe even salvage some of that river birch for firewood. But hey, a walk's a walk, talk's talk. Now it's time to get to work. Okay, last video, we got the plywood on the walls. This thing's ready to start with the rafters and put the roof together. First thing I'll do is find the center and I will build a jig for each side to hold the beam in place. To get the height right and the angles right, since I'm not a mathematician, I just drew it out on a piece of uh, parking lot with some chalk and tape measures. And I think that getting this part right here, that head beam, that top beam right, that's key to the whole thing. This top beam that I'm using is a 16 foot long two by six. And I think that'll be just right. The building is 10 feet wide and the rafters that I'm gonna be using are eight feet long. This head beam will stick over a foot on either end and the rafters will stick a foot off of the sidewalls. Enough if it don't fall. There it is. There it is. Woo. Wow. Still pretty pretty tall. Taller than I thought it was going to be. Okay, now I will make sure I have it centered and I will start cutting rafters. And once I get uh, one, I think they'll all be the same. I can just make a bunch of them. But hey, it's going up. Once I have one made, I just use it to trace the rest of them. There you go. I'll cut them out, put them up. There's the first two. This is a bit of a reach and standing on the top of step ladder is probably not a good idea. So don't try this.
There's another one. Huh. Boss man taking a nap, huh? Uh-huh. Okay. Well, it's starting to look like a roof. And this is the one I was looking for, the last one. Awesome. That part's done. I'll get some straps and put more screws in it, but I'm feeling like it's pretty darn close. Should be just, just right. Oh yeah. Well, Supervisor Hank, do you approve? I'll take that as a yes. Let's go find the other boss. What are you making, Jan? Beef. Beef. Puff pastries. Puff. Beef. Beef puffs pastry. Puff. Puff. Beef puff pastries. pastries. Yes. So beef and cheese pies. Yes. Mmm. Is that what we're eating tonight? That's what we're eating tonight. Awesome. I'm starved. Sha. Yeah. So, um, we got this beef, beef brisket at um, um, the store, and Kevin smoked it up, and we froze it in like four pieces for meals, and so I took uh, a pack out and thawed it out, and then I just chopped it up. Nice. And um, that's what I'm going to use, just beef and cheese and this puff pastry. This puff pastry is just Pepperidge Farm puff pastry. Um, I like it. I've used it all the time. <laughs> cool. You can make all kinds of things out of it. So. And you can do these uh, pies um, out of chicken which that's what I usually do this beef one is new this is a new one and it smells really good the, the like I said the beef was um, smoked and grilled and it really smells good so I just put a little bit on each little triangle what we've always called these since I started making them for my family is Usually, I make them with chicken, so we call them chicken and cheese things. And everybody calls them chicken and cheese things. Yeah, they do. So, there you go. <laughs> I don't know. My, my girls came up with that when they were little because they, they loved them. So, so you, you can get eight of these out of one uh, package of the puff pastry. Um, you don't have to use all of it, but that's what I'm going to do. 
That's what I usually do. So you just do them like this with your cheese and, and then you just take them and fold them over like this into a little triangle. And then you just go with your fork along the edges. Oop. So just go around the edge your fork, put them on your pan like that. And then um, and after I'm done with all of them getting them put together, uh, I'll put them on my sheet pan over here. I just use aluminum foil just to make it easier to clean up. And then I'll just put a little um, egg wash on them just to it shine them up. I don't think it really does much for taste, but I could be wrong. Mm. So, so now I'm just going to put some egg wash on the top and it'll uh, brown them a little more and I know this is not the right way to do it, but I don't have a pastry brush here with me. So I'm just doing, making do. <laughs> well, what is that, egg whites? Oh yeah, this is just egg whites, that's all. That's all it is. Egg wash on. After I get the egg wash on, then I will, um, Bake them at 400 for about 20 minutes. About, about the same as you would a biscuit. The meat and every, and is already cooked. So you're not cooking the meat inside of it. You're just browning the pastry. Or cooking the pastry. Mm, yummy. And put them in the oven. 20 minutes. 20 minutes at 400 and maybe 425 there again, depending on your um, oven. One side of mine cooks faster than the other. So I'm just going to watch it um, and look at them in about 15 minutes. Yummy. Okay, they're done. My timer went off and it was about 20 minutes. Because like I say, my stove don't cook even on each side. So, Yummy. there you go. Let's see, they're still sizzling. Yummy. Kevin, you want one or two? Two. Two. Come on. There we go. There we go. And I've got to get him a little salad because i got to make him eat vegetables somehow. <laughs> so just a little salad. So, Perfect. There we go. Looks wonderful. Bon appetit. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Kevin, so how are they? They're hot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's good. Is it good? Better than Aunt Peter's cooking. <laughs> Different than the chicken and cheese ones? Yep. I can taste the smoke on the beef. Beef and cheddar pies. There you go. What kind of cheese did you use? Uh, Kobe Jack like a mixture but you can use whatever you want mm. well thank you you're I welcome like you're welcome another rainy day up here in the mountains i guess that'll bring the creek up a little bit 
<clears throat> shed there looking good. It's been a fun, fun build. Thanks for coming along. Thanks for subscribing. See you on the next one.